Hello everybody and thanks for joining me. So I got a few requests regarding the instant template project. So a few of you have asked, uh, could I also show them how to use the uh, instant template? So that's not a problem. So uh, obviously you go into your uh, customs, uh, instant, instant project, go to customs or whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to use this one here and then insert and then it automatically applies it to your timeline like so. So if I move my timeline across you'll see basically what it's doing the templates and the effects okay so um, and then obviously then you can change it and like I have I'll, quick, I'll give you a quick demo of what I did going to bore you with the whole 36 uh, second clip but you get the uh, the general idea all, all I did was just uh, change some of the attributes in the photos to suit my needs especially the uh, uh, the last one it's a still and it just sits there and, and uh, what I did uh, I used the Boris effect for the last last part so, So as you can see, you can do uh, many things with it. It's a template, so it's up to you how you change it. Now, um, here's a little pro tip for you. Go to Settings, Preference, go in the uh, Undo, and go to the levels 99. You have a choice from 1 to 99. If you're working with templates, you're bound to make mistakes. And if you're like me, you'll probably make 99. <laughs> so this gives you the option of uh, undoing it 99 times. Uh, so, yeah, that's a little bit of a pro tip. So uh, how do we... Uh, how do we commence? Well, obviously, we, we commence uh, at the beginning, as everybody else would, right? So, as you can see, it's just a, a black background. So, you actually have an option already here to add in some text if you wish. So, you can type in something really corny and just type in hello. Uh, and it's, that's up to you. So, you can really uh, customize it slightly to your needs and then bring it in. So, uh, instantly, you already start changing the, the actual template. Okay, so uh, you've got different types of uh, transitions here, and then you can look in those to see if that's what you really want. So you can uh, double click, and it's got a, it's the crossfade uh, filter. So if you go in here and if you crossfade, you'll you will have an idea of what it's doing. And if you don't like it, you can just say, well, I, I want dissolve, so you can replace it with dissolve. But uh, the crossfade works quite well, so I'm going to I'm going to keep it there. All right, so here you've got the background. So um, what 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 has he done to the background? Well, let's have a look at it. Um, so it's fit to project. Has he got any attributes in there? Yes, he is. So he's using a, an FX filter called Light. So you go into Customs Filter, and you can clearly see that he has changed it from a green to the red background, and he's just using the lighting effect. So if you don't like this uh, background and you want a different color, well then uh, by also by all means change it to that different color. So as you can see, it will now change the color you wish it to be. So as you can see, you quickly start changing the properties of the uh, template. So that's the easy parts. Uh, well, actually, they're all easy. So let's uh, go into the placeholders. The placeholders are the one that when you see it uh, preview, it's got the letters or the numbers one and two and so forth. So how do I change this picture? Uh, very simple, actually. Just uh, right click. And you'll see replace clip with either a video or a photo. So let's go with photo, and then just choose. Um, I'll find your folder where the photo is. So let's here, and instantly I've, uh, I've changed it. Now here's another pro tip. Before you do that, uh, go right click again and go to properties, and just find out what size photo he's actually using. So it's the width of 1,204 pixels. Uh, 24 pixels. So my advice would be is trying to find something similar. Anything over 960 will work. If you use, uh, say, a smaller frame, you're going to get black borders on there, left and right, which is going to, you know, it's going to look corny and screw up your effect. So because uh, they're not all, they're all not going to use the same width. So it's always worth checking to see what width they are using. And then it's just a matter of going to each placeholder and then replacing that photo with the uh, desired one that you would like and as you can see it will go quickly everything's done automatic for you let me guess I didn't oh yeah let's see I got tricked there's two 
number two placeholders, isn't that correct? Anyway, not a, not not the worry. So you go along and then you just change each placeholder with your desired picture. Uh, and again, you can also look into the placeholders to see what sort of effect he has applied. So he's using picture in picture, and by the looks of it, if I play this, it's probably going to be it's probably resize and crop. I think. So um, let's have a look. Um, it's the best way to find out if you just uh, play it, and you'll see what the attributes are doing. So yeah, he's, he's, it's, it's cropping and it's sizing at the same time. So it's got a bit of a live look to it, which is kind of cool. And obviously, if you want to, you can change that as well. So you can uh, see quickly how you can change everything. And then obviously, the last one, uh, what I did, I just added something completely different using the Boris filter. But, uh, and then obviously what's really going to sell your intro is music and uh, all I did was just did the, uh, the auto music and I found something that I liked uh, previewed it that matched the style of what I was doing and then I just clicked add to timeline and it then automatically would just fit to your whole uh, project and that's it my friends it's uh, as you can see it's done relatively easy so you just go through everything first to see what properties and here's a here's a good one the overlay track three is using uh, three types of filters so you can have a lot of fun changing those filters as well there you go my friends it's uh, done relatively easy and like always thanks for watching